ask Tom on home show. Patina from Universal City, Texas, has some crack concerns. Well, that's over by San Antonio, right, Tom? Universal City. I think it's just outside of. I San have Antonio. no idea, actually. Well, I'm here to tell you. I'm, I'm sure it is because it's seven six. Okay. But anyway, so Patina looked under her tile and found this. See that crack going down the middle of it? I see it in that yeah. foundation there. Okay. She, she says, my home was built back in March of 2020, and the hairline cracks in my tile ran from one end of the room to the other. And after removing the tile, we found the crack is in the, the, the same length as the crack we found in the tile. So the builder insists it's nothing to worry about and just wants to replace the tile. Should I be concerned? The foundation has a 10-year warranty. First off, I don't think it's going to ever be a, Well, I can't say that. I don't think this crack is a sign of foundation problems down the road. It is a shrinkage crack. There's some movement. There's settlement. Some of these things happen. There is like a green goo or some of them are different colors that they will spread on that crack real smooth first and let it se uh, settle. It, has, it gives a little expansion on top and then they'll thin set the tile back down. You shouldn't have any more problems. Nobody can guarantee it. Not the builder, not an engineer. Not anybody else. All an engineer can do from something as, as minor as that to something, quite frankly, as big as what happened in Florida here not too long ago with the building collapsing, is they'll come in and they'll look at it and they'll say, yeah, it's standing now. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But for the most part, I think if they go ahead and put that expansive uh, putty on there, they re set it down. I think it's just some of the settlement stuff that happens on a new home. And I don't think at all it's going to mean you have foundation failure five years down the road. I, I pretty, I'm pretty comfortable and confident saying that's not going to happen. So go ahead and fix it. And let's see if it comes back. I don't think it will. If they do, even, if they fix even, it right. Even though it mirrored the crack all the way across the room like that. You think yeah, that was I'm just sure a matter of the and, installation? And absolutely. It pulled apart. Uh, it was some shrinkage, a little bit of movement, settlement. But I don't think it's something, and it has to do with how well they laid the tile there. And there's a lot of other stuff. How easy the tile came up. Was it hollow there? If it was hollow there and I got a crack, then it's going to show it even more so. I really think this one's going to be an easy fix. And I would let the builder come in with someone experienced to put that expansive putty down. Go ahead and thin set it down with some multi-purpose thin set, which controls movement. And I think you're probably going to be okay because slabs get uh, uh, contraction and expansion cracks all the time, shrinkage cracks. It's just part of the game. There's not a concrete slab out there that you wouldn't take all the tile up, all the carpet up, all the wood floors up, whatever it is, and you're going to see hairline cracks all over the place. It's just because when you pour that much concrete and put the right amount of steel in it, it's going to it's going to give in some weak places, but it's not a matter of failure. It's always mm -hmm. cosmetic. And that, just to end it with this, that's why when you see big pores that are uh, exposed, you'll see them purposely cut expansion joints on the surface of them about every eight to 10 feet and make purposeful cuts because they know it's going to crack. So they want it to crack at the bottom of that cut so it looks nice and clean when it's all stained or how we're kind of finished or painted if they're going to put mm. a painted finish on there and you don't see the hairline cracks. But you know, we're we're in the process of um, replacing the carpet and the uh, Trifection is doing the whole master suite thing right now. Uh huh. And when they pulled up that carpet, Sandy was like, we need to get uh, due west out here right away. Did you see all the cracks in the bedroom? <laughs> no, 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 I don't. No. That's no. a perfect example. You had no idea yeah. they were there. They never right. caused a problem. Never. But people see that and they go, "Oh my right. gosh, what is that?" Mm -hmm. Now don't worry about but it. But I got to be, I got to say, to be the sage Tom Tynan of my house and go, "No, honey, those are just surface cracks. Nothing to worry about." <laughs> That's right. No, my problem. hero. Okay, <laughs> there you go. You got a question? That's Tom good. wants to be your hero. Send them in. Click on Ask Tom, the blue button there, and you'll come to this page. You fill out a form. You send it in, and we answer it because Tom loves to help people, and we, we love to help him do that. So we post a new one every day at homeshowradio.com, the uh, Home Show Radio Facebook page, and, of course, the Home Show Radio YouTube channel. 